My name's Jack McVeigh, I'm from the Isle of Man, Douglas. Hi, I'm Anthony Moore, I'm from Douglas, Isle of Man. Of all the universities and colleges around the world to play soccer for, two boyhood friends from across the pond in Douglas, Isle of Man, wound up playing at the same school in the United States. Junior midfielders Jack McVeigh and Anthony Moore played together as lads and now play together again at Fairleigh Dickinson University. Anthony Moore, uh, gone a while back now, maybe when we were five, six, playing in the youth systems. Uh, we always compete against each other you know, every couple of months. As Jack mentioned, we, we played together through the whole youth system in the Alaman. Uh, we were always against each other. I'd say eight, times out, eight, nine times out of ten, my team was on top. Uh, like, like he said, you can ask him. But uh, you know, most finals, my team would win. And if he wants to say he can play centre mid, then he can. But what I'll say is I've got the trophies to prove it. He's a good laugh. He's a good laugh most of the time. But when it comes to serious business, I don't, I don't really know about him. He's, I don't want to know about him, to be fair. But uh, nah, he's, a, he's a good lad. He's, uh, he's good to be around. It was good that he... I'm thankful to him for helping me out come here. It was, uh, it's the only time I'm going to say this, but it was nice of him. 15th year head coach, Seth Rowland. Jack and Anthony are uh, a couple of characters. They're uh, good guys, good kids. Uh, Jack is very technical and, and very savvy tactically and is good at controlling, uh, helping us control the rhythm of play in a game. And Anthony, whose nickname is Muta, Muta is very forceful, getting up and down the right side as a wide player. Uh, they, they're both uh, making major contributions to our team on the field and in the locker room. They keep things lively as well. Uh, they speak English, but I can barely understand what they say most of the time. It's certainly not the King's English. <laughs> From Douglas Isle of Man, Moore and McVeigh bring more than just a unique style of play and field chemistry to FDU soccer, but also their European brand of humor, and even a nickname traveled with them across the Atlantic. So as far as uh, Anthony being called Muta, uh, one day in preseason, I, I said to Anthony, I said, it takes too long to yell out Anthony. And that's when Jack said, well, his nickname back home in the Isle of Man is uh, Muta. So since then, we call him Muta. Yeah, we have a good, uh, good like rhythm. We know each other what we're going to do. It's a shame he doesn't talk, so uh, I have to have eyes in the back of my head sometimes when he's running. Well, I think they do have an understanding for how each other plays. Um, uh, they work well together, and uh, although they each have a little bit of uh, differences in their game, there are enough similarities that that they have uh, developed an understanding that's kind of innate from, I'm sure, how they were coached growing up uh, in Douglas Isle of Man. Both McVeigh and Moore transferred to FDU after playing two years of college soccer at other institutions. However, the story on how they both wound up at Fairleigh Dickinson slightly changes depending on who's telling it. It's a funny story, actually. Uh, Anthony wanted to leave his school. He tried to transfer to AIC, a D2 school. And then uh, there was like some problems with that, and then he was he was stuck. He, you know, he had nowhere to go. So because uh, I was coming here, and you know, a nice guy, and didn't want to see him go go to the grave. So uh, I helped him out and got him here. I spoke to the coach, and fortunately, the coach had some money left for him, and then got him here. I got in touch with Jack, and he said he'd have a word on the coach. And fortunately, uh, both of them have helped me out a lot, and I'm thankful to both of them. But uh, but now I'm here just to, I'm not really bothered about Jack, so I'm more thankful to the coach than anything. First it was Jack. I received an email with a copy of uh, his release from NJIT uh, stating he was looking to transfer and, uh, and we pursued it. I called his former coach and I called a couple other people and they rated him highly as a player and said he was a good kid. Um, then. Uh, a month or two later, I received out of nowhere an email that was clearly sent to a number of coaches from Anthony Moore. Uh, I replied. As it turned out, uh, I had no idea that uh, Muta knew Jack and Jack knew Muta, but then I got a call from Jack when he had, after he had committed to FDU. And he had said, yeah, this guy, Anthony Moore, is a friend of mine. He's a good player. You should take a close look at him. 
I, I see them both very much as team players. They're egoless as far as trying to uh, trying to one up one another. They're just doing everything they can to help make us the best team we could be. Anthony Moore and Jack McVeigh are selfless players on the field for FDU, and their mission to do whatever it takes to help the team win is united. However, to some extent, their rivalry still exists from their days competing against each other on the pitch in Douglas. Uh, that's another funny story, because uh, all the way through a youth system, if you ask him, he'll tell you, he's always wanted to play center midfield. And every team, every team we played in the same system, has always been pushed out of the center midfield, because that's been that. He'll, he'll, he'll tell you that. Uh, on a personal, I'd say me. <laughs> <laughs> Check back to FDUNights.com for more features on Fairleigh Dickinson men's soccer and all your favorite FDU athletics programs. Reporting for FDUNights.com, I'm Kenny O'Boyle.